Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be studying about the resource calendar or basically changing the availability of the resources as well as the timings of the resources. See, for our IT building construction project, we have already assigned one IT building calendar to it, which is nothing but your 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., which is nothing but 10 hours. But what happens sometimes is that some particular resource, for example, let's say some particular staff is there who will be working on some different timings and his timings and his schedule will not be similar to the project calendar for a certain period. Maybe your project manager is uh, going on some leave or maybe because of certain medical issues, some particular staff is not able, not able to work for 10 hours. Instead, he'll be working for eight hours or maybe he's working for... Uh, 10 hours but in a different time slot or maybe different shifts are there or maybe some ex exceptions are there then in those particular cases what do we do we create a different calendar for a certain resource that resource will have a different calendar okay so that we'll be following in this particular video so you'll be taking example of a plumber one plumber as a resource is there in one plumbing activity this plumbing activity is of seven days that is for 4th of January to 11th of January, this activity has been scheduled. Now what we'll be doing right now, this plumber is working 10 hours every day. That means total of 70 hours this plumber is working. If you go to the resource usage view, then you will be able to see this plumber. If we go to this plumber, then you see this plumber is working 70 hours uh, for the complete duration of the activity, which is plumbing. Plumbing activity is of seven days and this plumber is assigned this activity. So 10 multiplied by seven will be 70 hours. Now what we will do, we will change the timings of this plumber. Two cases we will do. In first case, we will increase the timings from 10 hours per day to 15 hours per day. And we will see how much impact will it have on the duration of the activity as well as to the cost of the activity right now if you see that the cost of this particular plumbing activity is 54500 whether this cost will really get um, impacted because of the change of the working time of plumber or no we will actually see so how to edit the working time of a certain resource there are two methods first method uh, is go to the project tab and here click on this change working time and here for calendar you choose the particular resource for which you want to edit the timings like we want to edit the timing for plumber so we can do everything from here like exceptions we can add here work weeks we can add here other method is you just go to this task menu and you open the resource sheet okay and here in plumber you just click this plumber and what you do is in this resource tab, you open this information tab. So when you will open this information tab, the resource name will be displayed as plumber because you chose the plumber option here and here resource availability you can change. But this we will understand towards the end of the video. But here we will understand about the working time, how to change the working time. So here you see change working time option will come. So you can change the working time of plumber from here also. So when you open this same window will open here also. So you can add exceptions like for example during those seven days of the plumbing activity the plumber will not be able to come on a certain day due to some reason maybe some event he has to go in or some other reason maybe there but we are not adding the exceptions if you want you can add the exceptions we will just change the timings okay. So if you click on the details, see right now, if you see, if you click on any day, the plumber is working from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., which is your 10 hours. But we want to change this. So we will click on details. You see on Sunday, it is not working. On Monday, it is working from 8 to 1 and 2 to 7. And similarly on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So what we will do from Monday to Saturday, we will change his timings. So we will click on Monday. We will press the shift key in keyboard. Then we will click on Saturday. Then we will click on set days to this specific working time. So instead of 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., what we will do, we will do it 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Okay. 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Just edit this and make it 11. Okay. And delete this particular second row. Okay. And now you click on OK. So after you click on OK and you choose any particular day of the calendar, you will see that this particular plumber will be working every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. If you want to constrain this to certain dates, you can you can do that also. OK, like in the details, what you can do is instead of 
making it default you can add some certain date here start and finish and then you can click on the details and then and there you can change the timings for this particular start to finish duration okay but we have made his uh, work timings constant for every day every day he is working 15 hours let us say okay so we have changed it now we can click on okay and we can click OK again. So now what we will do is we will just go to our Gantt chart and you will observe that still the duration is seven days and the cost is also same 54,500. Why is it so? The uh, hours have changed 15 hours he is working now but still everything is same why we will go to the uh, task usage sheet to see what has actually happened so if you go to this plumbing activity so earlier we can just click on scroll to task to see the complete details for plumbing see earlier also plumber was working 70 hours but he was working 10 hours for seven days now what has happened is that instead of working 10 15 hours for continuous seven days his 70 hours have got distributed in terms of 15 hours see the concept of changing the timings is that the total man hours will remain constant. If a plumber is giving 70 hours to an activity, his 70 hours will remain same no matter what kind of activity you have chosen. Even if the activity type is fixed duration or fixed units or fixed work, doesn't matter at all. Your plumber will be working 70 hours only for the complete activity. Now, when you change the timing, what he is doing? First day, he is working 15. Second day, also 15. Total is 30. Third day 15, total is 45. Fourth day also 15, total is 60. Now only 10 hours of the work is left. So that is why in the fifth day he is working 10 hours and hence he completes his 70 hours of work. Now for the balance two days, he will not at all be working because he has completed his work of 70 hours in five days itself. So there is no point of working in the last two days of the activities. So the reason that the cost was not changed is that the total man hours is same. If the man hours will increase, the cost will increase. If the duration will increase, then also the cost might increase. But the duration is not at all increasing. No, duration is same. See, if work hours will be same and duration will change also, then also it will not matter. Only cost impact will be there if the duration will change. It means work hours will change. If the duration will extend, but work hours are same doesn't matter okay so this is why the cost was not at all impacted it is still the same as earlier so we saw that the activity is still of seven days and the work hours are also same now what we will do we will go back to gantt chart and we will again change the timings of the resource of plumber now instead of making it to 15 hours a day we will make it to five hours per day okay we will do the opposite now Okay, so how to do just go to resource sheet back again, choose plumber, go to resource tab, click on information, change working time and work weeks and here details. Choose Monday to Saturday using the shift key and change the timing. So instead of 11 p.m. what we can do now, we can do 8 to 1 p.m. because it will be only 5 hours. So we will click on OK. So after you click on OK, you choose any day. It will be 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now this plumber is only giving five hours of the input every day. You click on OK. And now see one pop up will come. The resource is assigned outside of the original dates. What is it? What it is trying to say? See earlier your 70 hours were distributed in 10, uh, seven days, 10 hours every day. But now these 70 hours will be distributed based on five hours per day so that is why your project duration will change outside your assignment so this is what it has popped up so we will click on ok we will again click on ok and we will go back to our gantt chart and we will observe that your plumbing duration has exactly doubled why earlier the plumber was working 10 hours per day now the plumber is working five hours per day so he will be able to complete the same activity in double time no earlier seven days now it has become 14 days so we will open the task usage form to analyze the complete thing properly see your plumbing activity now the plumber has started working if you see from this particular day and he's only giving five hours so first day second third fourth fifth 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 
10th, 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th. So in 14 days, he is able to complete his 70 hours. Still his 70 hours of man hours is not changed. Just the distribution of the hours has changed. Still it is summing up to 70 hours only. So the reason of increasing of this particular activity from 7 days to 14 days is just because of the plumber. Other resources are still working as per their schedule because their timings is not changed. Only plumber has delayed his work because of which the activity duration has got extended. Whether the cost changed, we will see. Earlier also it was 54,500. Now also it is same because the hours have not changed. If hours will increase, the cost will increase. But work hours are still 70 hours. So that is why the cost did not have any kind of impact. So I hope these things are clear to you. But one more thing is we will go to the task usage and we will see one very important thing. See, here what you can do is you can introduce one row of actual work. So if you go to plumbing, then what you can do is now see your plumber is working five hours per day as per your schedule. But suppose on a certain day he is working for four hours because of any other reason. But on others day you do not want any interruption. So what you will do here in actual work you can update four hours and balance hours MSP will automatically update this one hour that you are reducing here. MSP will just adjust this reduction of one hour in the balance duration. You see how I'll just make it four hour and you see balance days have become 5.08 hours. This one hour of work which reduced here got adjusted in the balance day. So this is the importance of actual work. If you want to change the uh, working hours manually, then you can do it using this method also. Okay, I'll just click on undo because I don't want to interrupt anything. I'll go to Gantt chart and I think we will make everything back to normal if you want or maybe let, let it be. One more thing which is pending in the video is changing the availability of the resource. Like whether this resource is fully available or no, you can change the availability of the resource also. Like just go to the resource sheet and click on this plumber. And go to the resource tab and in the information section, I already told you the resource availability you can change. Like from which and which particular date the resource is available in how many units. For example, your plumber is available only 50% of the time in a certain duration. Then you can change the availability from here. Okay. Or maybe some staff, like let us say you uh, schedule six masons, but during a certain period, only three masons are available. Then you can change the availability of masons for this particular duration to 300% uh, from 600%. Okay. So if you want to change the uh, availability of the plumber, you can simply change the dates here and you can reduce the units to 50% or whatever you want. You can see the effects of those particular features in your task usage. But again, remember, that it will only have a cost impact if your work hours are changing, okay? So that's all about the resource availability and your working time for the resources. So thank you everyone.